Hey guys, it's Kieran from Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today, I am so excited to be sharing with you garage sale haul number 27. I feel like I've been really lucky with the stuff that I've been finding at garage sales, and it's been interesting because I go in spurts of finding things that are like super nostalgic for me, but I also go in spurts of finding things that are like really practical and really trendy and really modern and really cool uh, for my home and for my classroom. So lately I've been garage sailing a ton. There have been so many village-wides and city-wides in my area. I feel like every weekend my full-time job is being out there garage sailing and finding all of the awesome deals. I have been finding a ton of stuff and I'm so excited to share all of it with you, but I don't want to make like a huge long video just because I found a lot of stuff one weekend at a garage sale. I'm trying to spread it out a little bit so that I don't bombard you with like 20 minute long videos every week I try to keep it like on you know 12 minutes 13 minutes at the most uh, for the garage sale hauls if you're interested in watching all of my garage sale haul videos I will link a playlist above so you can check those out so I've been hitting up a ton of village-wide sales a ton of city-wide sales and I've been able to find a bunch of stuff I have been having so much fun garage sailing I've been able to go with my family and my friends and I've been periscoping as well so if you'd like to follow me on periscope at thrifted living you can come garage sailing with me every week now I haven't been periscoping as much as I would have liked to for garage sales, but I found out the hard way that periscoping eats up my data like crazy, so I'm trying to be selective with when I periscope and when I don't periscope. All right, so let's jump right into the haul. If you've been following my channel for a while, and if you watched a lot of my thrift hauls, you probably saw that I was on the epic quest for boots because my sister got a scholarship to a college in Ireland and she took my favorite pair of boots with her. So ever since then, I've been trying to find the right pair of boots and in the process I've collected several different pairs of boots none of them have been totally perfect but they work in my wardrobe and this week I found a really cute pair of boots I'm not gonna say they're the one but they might be pretty close to my favorite pair right now I'm in love with fringe and I think these boots are so cute they are gray ankle boots with the little fringing detail down the side they are from a brand called jelly pop which I think is a really fun name and they're just cute little ankle boots they fit me like a glove when I did get them at the garage sale they were full of like like acorns and stuff so I think they were a home for a squirrel um, but I cleaned all that out and they're pretty good now um, they fit me really nicely they're super soft and flexible and I am excited to add them to my boot collection but I don't know if they'll replace that one pair that my sister has back has in Ireland I miss those boots when I saw this next item I was kind of confused I didn't really know what this thing was and I saw it was on a string and it was a bunch of a bunch of bows and the bows felt like really really hard and I was like what are these and then next to this they had a napkin inside one of these and I was like oh they're napkin rings which I think is so cool I think they're handmade I think these napkin rings are really fun they are like pink and white and yellow polka dot and green polka dot little bows I think it'd be really sweet for like a birthday party or you know just like a little like cutesy girly celebration um, you know maybe like an 80s themed party or something and I think that they're really really fun I just really love bows in general when I was little my mom used to make us barrettes and I thought they were the coolest things ever if I can find a picture I will insert a picture of my sister and I with some of the homemade barrettes that my mom made um, but these are really sweet I can't wait to use them for a party or a celebration and they were a dollar I wasn't quite sure of what this piece was when I first saw it and some of these things have fallen off since I got it but it's kind of creepy I know this isn't a real picture of you know anybody in my family but it's supposed to be like a family tree like album I just think that the gold detailing is really pretty if you get up close to it you can see like the like the bark on the tree um, and I just think it's really fun it comes with like these little circular um, picture holders and um, little plastic parts and on the back it's like a purple um, backing for the picture but I think it's really cute um, it's really pretty uh, and I think it'll look nice on like my mantle or uh, on my vanity and it was only a dollar at the same sale where I found that family tree I also found this really really pretty table runner it's like this lace doily table runner and I really really love it it only has a couple problems um, there is a stain on it I don't know if you guys can really see it 
it's kind of hard to tell but right here it's like a little more orange than it should be and there's some pink stains and it also is ripped but I thought it would be really cool to take it for like you know the material to take it and be able to like cut it up and use it as a stencil or to use it for different decorations I could decoupage it onto something um, I just thought it was a really pretty piece at first I thought it was fabric and I was like oh my gosh that lace is everything I love it but it is not and it's got a like a really uh, soft uh, smooth plastic backing on it so I just think it could be used for you know a bunch of different projects if you guys have any ideas of what I could do with this leave me a comment below because I am slightly inspired but not totally inspired yet um, so I was able to get this piece for a dollar as well Sean actually found this next piece and I was really confused when I first saw it I didn't really know what it was but he says that it's like a beard trimmer or something I don't know if you guys can really see that so you like go like that and it cuts and he thinks it's like a little older he thinks it's you know maybe a vintage piece we are actually going to give this to our friend her name is Jordan you guys probably saw in my get fit I think it's get fit episode 3 we went to a wedding reception and Jordan was the bride and her husband Paul was the groom and um, she is the coolest the best hairstylist I have ever seen in my life she does the coolest hairstyles and the coolest hair designs and she actually does something called mermaid hair where you like dye your hair like rainbow colors and I kind of want to do it um, but I probably won't cut them chicken I think she'll like this piece because it's a kind of like an older piece of like hair cutting history um, so we're excited to give this to her and Sean got this for two dollars so we think it's pretty cool so some of you may or may not know that I like to coupon I haven't done it a lot lately actually like at all since I've been in school but I've actually gotten really Really good at couponing I just like haven't been using my skills at that much lately so the next thing I found kind of reminded me of couponing and I feel like whenever I see a good deal on like body products I like to pick it up um, so let me just share with you what I found so I was really excited when I found eight toothbrushes for three dollars this pack is fifteen dollars originally and I was able to get this for three dollars this will last Sean and I forever and I'm really excited to have it because I feel like I always run like my toothbrush always gets bad and then I'm like so lazy and I keep on forgetting to get a new toothbrush until I go back to use it and I'm like I have to get a new toothbrush so I was excited to find this I'll just store this away in our cabinet and then we will be ready to have a toothbrush whenever we need one in my gift fit videos I've been posting that my mom was moving and we were getting her ready to move and um, it's been kind of challenging you know doing school all week and then getting her all packed up and everything over Memorial Day weekend we actually moved her in and her house is so cute and we're just getting it all ready um, you know cleaning it up and putting everything away so I got her another housewarming gift I know I got her the one housewarming gift in the last garage sale haul but I got her another one because you just have to, when you see something cute at a garage sale, you just have to get it if you're drawn to it for someone. So I got her the cutest little Christmas scene and I'm so excited to give it to her. So it is an entire Christmas scene of mice and look at how cute this little mouse house is a piece of cheese. Isn't that so cute? I love this. My mom's mom loved mice and she has since passed away. So whenever we see mice, we usually pick them up for her like in her memory. Um, so this little mouse lives in a cheese house. This little mouse lives in a spool of thread. Guys, this is so adorable. I love this. There's a little mouse that lives in a shoe. How cute. I think this one is like a tree stump. I'm pretty sure. The last one is a little pine cone. So I think that that is so cute. It also comes with like little trees to go with it. Like how cute are these? And then like little scenes. Like here's a little mouse building a snow mouse. A snow mouse. And I don't know what they're doing. They're going to someone's house, I guess, where the fence is. I'm not quite sure. And a little lady mouse with a little baby mouse. So I'm really excited to give this to her. She actually found like a mantle, uh, like an electric fireplace on Craigslist and she bought that. So I thought this would be cute for her to put this on her mantle and I hope she likes it. I believe I paid $5 for this whole set, which was a little more than I wanted to, but I really wanted to get it for her. So what can you do? I'm just going to quickly talk about this. I got two of these at a garage sale a couple weekends ago so several garage sale halls ago maybe even like last year in the garage sale halls I found another one of these and it's like the same exact style it's this really pretty like lace ornate pattern along the side and I just really think it's really cute now I have three of these all together 
I promise I am going to make a picture wall. I'm gonna make one in the my crafting room and I'm also going to make one in the living room and one in the dining room. So I'm collecting all of the frames. They're all different sizes, all different shapes, all different styles, and then I'm gonna spray paint them and put pictures in them. I am going to do it, I promise. I just haven't done it yet. So I was able to get two more of these, which I think will be really cool. Even if I have like one of these in each room, it'll have like a common theme throughout the house. I think I paid a dollar for each of these. I'm not quite sure, um, but it wasn't much. And it is missing the glass. Uh, the other one I have does have the glass, but both of these are missing the glass. So it's okay, I'll still be able to use it. So my little sister Courtney is an LPN and she recently got a new job. So when I went to a garage sale, I found something really cute that I wanna give to her as like a congratulations gift uh, for getting a new job. So let me share that with you. This is probably one of the bigger pieces I've gotten um, in terms of like ceramics. And this is a white elephant. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, it has like these little sparkly stones in it. I think it's a cookie jar, but I really like it because my little sister loves, loves elephants. And um, so whenever I see something with elephants, I usually pick it up for her because she loves them. And one thing she told me is that they have to have their trunk up or if their trunk is down, it's bad luck, which I didn't know. So I got this for her as a gift for her getting a new job and I think she'll really like it. So if you're new to my channel, every once in a while on Fridays I post videos about my craft room. I have a craft room series and so you, ha if you've been watching those videos you've seen that I've been working on different parts of my craft room and one thing I really wanted to find were stools. I wanted to find stools so that when I have a friend come over we can do crafting together and we can both sit at my sewing table that I also got at a garage sale. So I was lucky enough to find a couple stools this weekend and they are the perfect height for my craft room. I just think I I want to paint them so let me share them with you I'm not quite sure why I'm showing it to you like this I could just show you like a shot of these they are these really simple plain uh, stools and I got two of these for seven dollars altogether they wanted them five dollars a piece but I offered uh, seven dollars for the set and they did that for me and I was nervous that they were gonna be a little too big or a little too small I was just nervous they weren't gonna be the right size for my crafting room but they fit perfectly and I'm excited to have them so that now I can have somebody come over and we can craft together so I'm really happy that I found these if you watched my last garage sale haul video you saw that I talked about having a new reward system at my after-school program and one thing that I needed for the reward system was were like the plastic bin organizers so I was actually able to find both bin organizers that I needed so let me just share those with you really quickly the first size I needed was the smaller size in in this organizer I'm going to put like pencils or like erasers pencils and maybe like highlighters or something like that something different for each size so this will say like one ticket this will say five tickets and ten tickets and so on then I found the bigger size which will house the bigger prizes oh I cleaned it up a little bit but it needs to be cleaned a little more I think this was used for hair or something like in the bathroom so it's kind of sticky um, but then in this one it'll be like 15 20 25 tickets all the way up through and then they'll be able to save up their tickets and then redeem them for whatever size prize they would like um, which I like because it's kind of teaching them like money Money and you know how to save and how to you know um, not spend their money on things like how to like reach a goal and how to save for something like that which I think is a valuable lesson for them so I was excited to find these so I definitely saved the best piece for last if you saw the thumbnail and you saw the title of the video you probably saw that I found a beautiful piece of melt glass so I haven't collected a ton of melt glass yet but I have definitely been on the lookout for it for so long this weekend I went to a garage sale on Sunday and I wasn't really finding much of anything and I turned the corner and I saw this beautiful piece and I was like this thing has to come home with me this is the most beautiful piece of melt glass I have ever seen this is a melt glass cake plate I think that this is so beautiful I love all of the melt glass I wish I could have every single piece when I saw this my like jaw literally just like dropped open I think that this is so beautiful I love all of the detail in this I love all the little bumps and all of like I call this when I called my mom to tell her about this I call it like a ribbon oh I did so as you can see right here the price did say 10 but I offered five and she actually accepted which I was kind of surprised I didn't think she would so while I was standing there talking with the homeowner about how much she'd be willing to sell this for a gentleman picked up like this beautiful old vase and the wind caught it and it shattered all over the place and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh like my heart sunk for this guy they had like $75 on this piece and I was like oh my gosh like I just wanted to like back out of there slowly but I was like 
I'm not leaving without that milk glass. So she accepted my offer and I gave her the money and then they started helping the gentleman clean it up. I don't know what happened after that. I backed out of there as fast as I could. I was like, I'm not staying to see what happens. Um, but I felt so bad for this guy because he was so upset. So I'm really excited to have this piece. This makes two pieces that I have so far and I can't wait to collect more milk glass because I think it's so beautiful. Well, that's it for garage sale haul number 27. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.wordpress.com Press.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!